college to play soccer at the next level is already a great achievement. But Mackenzie is the first student, boy or girl, from Joe T. Robinson High to commit to play Division I soccer. It's crazy to think that not even a week ago, Jacksonville fans were ready to take their seats to watch the Titans play West Memphis in the state title game. Thanks to the coronavirus, schools are being shut down. People have to stay at least six feet away from each other. And we don't know when sports are going to resume again. Yeah, Coach Joyner is obviously disappointed, but he thinks it's better to be safe than sorry. Kale was only able to play 17 games in the last two seasons because of an injury in 2019 and also the coronavirus in 2020. But the scouts already knew what he could do with the bat. I mean, he hit 400 this year. But there was also one game that really made him stick out. I got a lot of exposure. If there's any hope for baseball in 2020, it's going to have to start with the majors. Then after that, Allen said that they can get started on a minor league season. But for the Arkansas Travelers, the clock is ticking. There are a lot of steps in order to make this merger happen, but ultimately, Fair and McClellan High School, they came together to become Southwest High School. The AAA is still planning on having high school sports in the fall, but what do the high school football coaches think? Boy, that's a loaded question. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what are the Cardinals getting out of Tink? How about a 17-year-old who has a fastball close to triple digits? Yes, sir, and I feel like... Coach Salty has been a Conway guy from the beginning. He played high school ball here, collegiate ball around the area. He won a state title with the Wampus Cats in 2010 when he was an assistant coach, but now he has the opportunity to bring Conway a state championship as the leader of the program. Brian and JD were the 45th and 46th hole-in-one on this hole since 2010. Now, that might make it sound less impressive. However, back-to-back holes-in-ones on back-to-back -back swings, those odds are 17 million to one. Everybody's working from home and from what general manager Paul Allen has told me, they know just as much as we do regarding the future and that's close to nothing. Hey, were you about to watch another Harry Potter marathon? No. <laughs> Star Wars. Okay, would you rather do something fun and outside instead? Yes, this whole quarantine thing is killing me. Well, I think I know just the place. Come on, change the channel, let's go. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Troy's Terrific Travels. You know, the last one was so much fun. We had to do another one. So today we're heading over to Lake Catherine State Park to check out Falls Branch Trail. Come on, get in the car. Let's go. As soon as the lights turned on, that's when the party started. Right behind me is where the parade is happening and everybody's honking, playing music, and Little Rock Central is showing their senior athletes a lot of love. With college baseball ending early, universities are recommending that their student athletes just go home. The silver lining for the Little Rock Trojans is that they only have five seniors on their 2020 roster. With no other sports going on, fishing's actually the perfect activity for social distancing. In order to keep everybody safe and sanitary during the reopening of gyms, Jeff says he's got workers that are constantly power cleaning all the equipment after each use. As you can see behind me, these players are not just standing six feet apart. They're standing at least five yards apart. Coach Eldridge told me that he's really emphasizing safety first, and he's using day one to really teach the kids what to expect in the upcoming weeks. 